Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. If you listen carefully, you may hear my beast snoring in the background. My girl had, oh, and you know how I told you the other day, I'm not having hot flashes anymore? Well, I jinxed myself because I'm having hot flashes, but many of you told me, oh, don't worry, it's the gift that keeps on giving because mine went away and then they came back, woo! Okay, anyway, um, my girl had uh, eye surgery yesterday. I guess it is very common in the American Bulldog or Bully Breed. When they get to the age 10, 11, they start getting eye ulcers. So my girl has been struggling for a month with it. We've had her on medication, back and forth to the vet, and it was not healing, it was just layering over. So I had to take her to an eye specialist. We have one ophthalmologist in our area that specializes for dogs. And uh, Bindi had a little procedure yesterday. They do a little sanding of it and they open it and it was... Anyway, my poor girl is suffering a little bit. She's not normally allowed on the bed. I don't know if you can see her. She's got that big cone on. I also have uh, her blankets on her chair. Normally I don't have her blankets on. I take them off in the morning when I make our bed. Um, Bindi is only allowed on one chair and she knows it and she knows she's not to get on it unless her blankets are on that chair. She's a very good girl. Anyway, she is suffering a little bit today so I have allowed her to get up on the bed and just chill. Anyway, uh, this is uh, a highly requested video and I thought instead of just coming on and doing the review of it, I would actually talk about the products as I'm putting them on. Give you a little um, information on them, then my opinion of them, and um, let you know what I think. And it is the ordinary line. So many of you wanted to know what I thought of it, so I went ahead and ordered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of their products. You don't need all of them, but I wanted to be able to try many of them so that I could give you my opinion. And remember, it is only my opinion. This is on a mature, dry skin. And uh, I am a layering fool. I love to layer my skincare. You do not need to go through all the steps that I go through, but um, I liken it to bingo. <laughs> Many like to go to bingo and have several boards in front of them. Well, I like to have several bottles of skincare in front of me. So the first one I'm going to start with because um, I'm going to do my eyes first. And I ordered this because you all know I suffer from a puffiness and dark circles. Now in the past, I have always used the AOX by SkinCeutical, which I absolutely love. It is not even said that it is targeted for dark circles, but I feel that it really helped mine tremendously. So uh, I was a little apprehensive about leaving it behind, but for me to be able to do a really good review of this, I have to stop using the things that I love so much. And let me say this, because after my skincare videos uh, that I did on the acids, the cleansers, and the toners, uh, many said, how is it even possible for you to know, not many, but some, uh, how is it even possible for you to know what's working for you? Uh, when I am showing you in that video in particular, I was showing you things that are out on my counter. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm using all these products all at once. Sometimes I will use a product for, we'll say, my uh, Indie Lee toner. I will use it for a couple of weeks on its own with other products that may be sitting out on my counter. And I have said this before, I have been playing around with skincare for over 25 years. I worked in the industry, uh, I'm trained for facials, I really understand my own skin. And I think once you understand your own skin, you will then be able to see right away within weeks if something's going to really work for you. Now I will say that a product does need a good four to six months, that sounds like a contradiction, but it does need a good four to six months to work. But I also believe that your skin will respond to something in a positive or negative way for you sooner rather than later. So um, all of the products that I show you are products that 
I will let you know these are new to me. So I can't tell you, oh, these are fabulous. But if I have been using something for a very long time, or I have been using it for at least a month, I pretty well can tell you this is going to really work for me. Now, can I say what the final results are going to be? How much? I don't believe that anything is taking my wrinkles away. I think that the only thing that's going to take wrinkles away is Botox and fillers at this point and Retin-A, Retin-A products uh, and vitamin C. Those are the only products that really are our powerhouses. So sometimes I'm, you know, I may have a lot of things, but that's because I want to try a lot of different things for you. No. So just keep in mind that it's more the doing, the attention you pay to yourself, the, 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 the whole process of skincare and you don't have to use everything I'm using. But now let's get to the price point of Ordinary. The Ordinary line is very affordable and for most of the products, very effective. Okay, so I'm going to start with the first product and I did write the prices down of the products because I would not remember that part of it. I can tell you um, how they feel and what they're doing, but all the price and stuff I don't know. So I do have the prices listed for myself. Uh, this one here is their caffeine solution. It's a 5% caffeine solution and it also has EGCG which is from green tea. It is $6.70 and you get one ounce in this. And what this does is it re reduces the appearance of eye contour, pigmentation, and puffiness. Now I have absolutely nothing on my eyes now. This one here, um, okay, it comes in a little brown jar. It's very, very thin in consistency, and it uh, has a light hue of yellow. And the way that I do it, sometimes, I don't like to do this, but sometimes I just go like this and I put it on there. You can use the dropper to do it, but I just, it's quicker. So then I just kind of pat that all underneath. I get it right up, avoiding the whole eyeball itself, but I just kind of pat that on. And this is the first step I do because I like to allow this product to sit in. It's very, um, it has a very, um, it's not sticky. It's, it has a lot of slip to it, so you're not, if you notice while I'm going along, I'm not pulling my eyes at all. So I'm just going to tap that in because you know I'm a tapper. I do a little bit of rubbing, but not too much. And I just tap. I will be using the viewfinder to direct my fingers where they need to go. All right, so this product here, so far I have to say, I have used, it is down to here. And of course it came full and I just take one swipe morning and night I'm using this and it is the first step I do in my skincare. Now I don't feel anything when I put it on. There's no tingling sensation and the caffeine in this does not affect me the way the caffeine in the Coco Roux did. Uh, this may be turn out to be a very long video. Anyway, um, or I may make it a two-parter. Um, so again, $6.70. 5% caffeine in it, has a very light texture to it. And another thing that I really liked about this product is it does not interfere with my other eye creams, meaning my other eye creams aren't rolling off of it. And it also does not interfere with makeup application. So for now, I will say for the cost of this, this, I don't know if I'm sitting here, if you can see um, now I was up at four o'clock this morning because my girl's pain medication wore off. So I'm a little tired myself, but anyway, um, I think you can see that it works just slightly. Uh, I don't, this eye is a little puffier in this area than the other eye, but also be, keep in mind that my puffiness is genetic and it's worsening with age. So I would say all in all, that I do like this product. So for $6.70, because I believe my AOX by SkinCeutical was up over $50, I think. Okay, so this is a huge, huge, huge savings. And um, I will get it again, and I do, do like it. All right, okay. so my next step, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it quickly. I'm not going to be reviewing or talking about this product, but the next thing I do put on my eyes after this solution has soaked in, again, many people differ in this 
um, belief. I believe that everything needs its own time to soak in just, and I'm not talking about hours. It just needs a good minute to really settle in. So I allow all of my serums to settle in. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and apply my Dr. Dennis Gross, uh, Ferulic and Retinol Triple Concentrate Eye Serum. I just take one pump of this and I just dab it in between. And I really focus on the outer part where we get our smile lines and tap it in and I move on. Okay, so we are going to the next product we are going to talk about is our Matrixel. And this is um, $11.50. Now the Matrixel, it comes in a, ten, it's a 10% and most Matrixels, they recommend at least 2% for it to be effective. Now this is also uh, in a, a high strength peptide formulation with next generation matrixel. Now matrixel is a peptide and it is usually combined with other ingredients to help the production of collagen. So matrixel is something that you definitely want to have in your skincare routine. Um, I really, really like this product too. I've used other matrixel products and this one here holds its own up against some of the others that I have used. So this one here, it is, it consists of two generations of matrixel and, and it is in a delivery system of hyaluronic acid. So you're getting uh, your peptides and your hyaluronic acid in here for $11 and 50 cents. Uh, now this one here, I will put on next. Now there is a product that I'll be talking about, which even amps it up a little bit more, has the matrixel in it, but it also has some amino acids and some probiotics in it. And you will hear probiotics being talked about a lot in skincare now. So anyway, I take the matrixel and this one here is again, it is clear. And the consistency of it, oops, is a gel serum form. And I take about four drops of it. You don't need a lot of these products. They're very concentrated. I will take a swipe like so, and then I just kind of tap it all over my face and my neck. I've been doing my whole chest with this. And I just go ahead and pat it in, and then I do just a light rubbing of it. And now this, when you put it on, at first you feel like, oh, it's going to be tacky. And you can see when I'm pulling it away, there's a slight tackiness to it, but it doesn't stay that way. So I just go ahead and I apply it that way. And again, this is loaded with peptides, okay? And with Matrixel, a serum like this, if you were using just a cleanser, toner, and your Matrixel, and then you were gonna use a uh, cream or an oil, your, this would always come before a cream or an oil. It would come after your toner, after your essence, always before cream and tone, uh, oil. And just in case, if I didn't mention, I would buy this Matrixel again. Okay, so we're going to move on to our next product, and this is the Buffet. Now, if you are going to choose the Buffet, you don't really need to get the Matrixel, but I would do both because that's how I am, because the Matrixel, uh, the Buffet also has the Matrixel in it, but it has a couple of other ingredients on top of that. So you don't need both, but it, you know, at this cost, if you're somebody who likes to have lots of skincare, go for it, all right? So we are going to talk about the Buffet, and this is a multi-technology peptide serum. This one, you get the one ounce, and it is a very, um, it's the same texture as the other one. So put whatever order you choose to put them on, it really wouldn't matter because their consistency is basically the same. Again, $14.80. It's a peptide rich serum. It has 11 amino acids in it. It has hyaluronic acid and it also has a probiotic complex. So what does the buffet or the matrixel do for the skin? They work on fine lines, wrinkles, they boost collagen, firmness, softness. So that's what your peptides are doing for you. They are working beneath the surface to make this all look fabulous, okay? This one here is the same consistency as the Matrixel. It is um, a very thin texture, so it would go before any creams or oils. It's cloudy. It's like a gel type water. Both of them are. They're like gel 
watery textures, but they both absorb quickly. So this one here, I do the same thing. I'm going to take at least four really good sized drops of it. Again, I'm using this on my neck and my chest. I'm just going to do a little sweep and I'm going to go ahead and tap it into my skin and my neck. I get my ears, everything. One of the reasons I don't do my neck on camera either is because I have my microphone right here and if I bang it, it's really loud for you guys. So I don't want it to be that way. Okay, so we have gone ahead and we've just pressed that into the skin. Now, if you're somebody who likes to rub things into your skin, you go right at it. But again, now this one here, you can see when you're touching it, it's, it feels like, oh, this is going to be a tacky one, but it goes away. It, it just really does. Again, I allow everything to settle in its own place. It's just my belief in how skincare should be done. All right, so we're going to move on to the next ordinary again. I would get either one of these again. I just think that they are, I, what I'm noticing most about my skin is I think there is a freshness to it. All right, the next product we are going to talk about is the Niacinamide 10% in zinc 1%. This is a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. Now, I don't have a lot of blemishes and for some reason I don't have the price on this one. So for me, niacinamide is not being used for blemish. Niacinamide is an anti-inflammatory. That's why it works so well uh, for acne and blemishes. It is also and very good for those who have rosacea, and psoriasis. So um, I think for me, Booba, you all right? Booba, let me check on my girl, okay? I'm not sure how Where she did. Where did my girl go? Come here. Come here, my Booba. Booba, come here, my baby. Come here, do you see my girl? You see my girl? Yeah, that's my baby. That's my baby. You okay, sweet girl? You all right? Yeah. Why don't you lay down here next to mama? Huh? Why don't you lay down here next to mama? Huh, sweet girl? My poor baby. My poor baby. Yeah. Okay. She's like a drunken sailor with this thing on. She bangs and everything. There's my baby. It's terrible when they get old. All right. I have the bedroom door closed so she can't go downstairs because uh, Joelle actually told me be very careful with the cone because they don't do well on stairs with the cones. So I have my bedroom door shut so she can't get out. All right, so where were we? We were talking about niacinamide. Okay, so now, so for me, I am not using niacinamide for acne or breakouts, but I am using its anti-inflammatory benefits for my rosacea because I do have just a small amount of rosacea. It's very rare that I get the little bumps with it, but every now and then my face will just flare up and Lou will be like, wow, your face is really red in certain areas. And that's my rosacea just flaring up a little bit. Now the zinc in this product at 1% also works like an antioxidant, but zinc is not an antioxidant, but it does work like one. So it is, so in this formulation, it helps with free radicals. So it helps with pores. It helps with uneven skin. It helps with fine lines. It helps with wrinkles. So after my matrixels, Matrixels. I say them in plural because the buffet and the matrixel. Now this one here is a little bit more gel-like. Again, I don't know the price of this one because I wasn't thinking. <coughs> so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in about the same amount. It, it comes up to about four drops, five drops. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to press it in into my skin. Now this one here does have a tacky feeling also, but again, it just goes away. So I do feel that it is really helping with my rosacea. Now, my rosacea is very, very, very mild. I am not saying that if you have an extreme case of rosacea, that this is going to be your cure-all. It may help you, it may not, but it's something to look into, my friends, okay, at a very affordable cost, okay? I'm going to check on my girl and I'll be right back. What we're going to talk about is hyaluronic acid. Uh, I think at this point, pretty much everyone understands uh, what 
hyaluronic acids function is in skincare. Uh, but just in case you don't, it is a sugar, sugar molecule. It is something that we have an abundance of in our bodies when we are born and with age, we lose it. And it helps, hyaluronic acid helps with moisture in the skin. And what topical uh, hyaluronic acids do and they are very very um, advanced with hyaluronic acid now and they they have come such a long way with hyaluronic acids because now they're using low medium high and that with the molecular structure of them and what that does is some of them are able to penetrate e a little bit deeper than the others before they used to just lay on your skin and they just bring moisture to the skin and let it lay on the surface and they still do that but some of them are able to go a little bit more so for a very dry girl uh, I think everyone could benefit from hyaluronic acids but uh, for me hyaluronic acid is a must and it is a B5 which is also known as panthenol so if you're looking for products uh, it hyaluronate it comes in uh, panthenol or hyaluronic acid it will say in the on the product or in the ingredient list try to get it where it's further up in the list so that you know you're getting a good amount that's the problem with some things that don't cost a lot of money when you're looking for the active ingredient in it it's way down at the bottom which means there's very little in it now she's gonna start thumpering because she wants to she's scratching uh, nothing I can do about it, my friends. Okay, so hyaluronic acid and a 2% B5. It's a hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. This one has the medium, high, low, which gives you multiple levels of hydration. So this is a very, very good hyaluronic acid. I'm going to put it on now. Now my hyaluronic acid is usually what I put on last before my moisturizer. So I am going to go ahead. It is a clear liquid just like most of them and it has a gel-like consistency which allows for you. Now I put about six drops of this one which allows you to layer them really any way you want but I like to put my hyaluronic acid last before my moisturizer so that it's really working with the moisture for the skin. Okay so here we go I'm just going to go ahead and give it a swipe. I just go ahead and pat it all over my face and of course I would do my neck and my chest with this. Now I will say about the hyaluronic acid it is a little on the sticky side. It, it truly is, which turns me off a little bit. I don't like sticky tacky, but if it goes away, it's okay. Now, on my hands, it stays sticky. Um, it stays a little sticky on the face, but I must admit, it doesn't in interfere with anything else. So I'm okay with it. I don't know if I mentioned that it was $6.80. Okay, so uh, hyaluronic acids, I've used many of them. I probably will not buy this one again right now because I have the Drunk Elephant uh, Hyaluronic Acid and I also have Celex C's B5. Uh, so I don't think that I will be getting that one again, but all of the other products I would definitely get. Now, I also have the Rose Hip, well, I will go ahead and do um, my eye cream now. So I'm going to use my Tata Harper. I did not go for any eye cream in this line. I don't even know if there is one. But the Tata Harper, I am really enjoying it. It's, it's, it's very similar to the, um, oh, the Sunday Riley that I love so much. Uh, so I'm, it has a beautiful smell too. Not perfumey smell, but it does have the essential oil smell. And I go ahead and I just tap that in. And as you, you'll notice, there's no pilling or anything underneath my eye. Nothing is rolling off. And that's a huge concern of mine when I am uh, layering things, okay? So now, um, for moisture, I do have two products here I'm going to hold to the end because many of you are probably wondering, where's her vitamin C? What'd she do? Where is it? Um... Uh, I have two products I'm going to talk about at the end that won't be put on my face right now. So then, um, the last thing I'm going to show you is I did go ahead and I got their rosehip oil, which you all know that I like rosehip oil, and it is a natural source of vitamin A, so it works in the same way that a Retina A product works, or a Retinol product would work. Um, and when, when they're put on your face, they turn into a retinoic acid. So. I went ahead and got the rose hip. Now, don't expect the the quick results that you will get by using uh, your P 
full strength retina a products or even a stronger retinal product but this is in a gentle way in case you're somebody who's super sensitive so this is the rose hip seed oil and it is a daily support formula for all skin types okay now this one is nine dollars and eighty cents for one ounce and uh, I've already told you what uh, rosehip oil will do it also heals and protects the skin this particular formula of rosehip oil has uh, vitamins A, B, D and E and it also has lycopene uh, it has some omegas three six and nine in it so the rosehip seed oil is a golden color and I'm going to go ahead and put this underneath and I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five, six drops of it. That may be a little bit much, but that's what I would normally use and then spread it down. I'm going to just give it a sweep. Okay, so you can see my hands are now coated and I'm going to go ahead and press it into my face. And this is the next step. This is the step you would do before your moisturizer because this oil has benefits okay you never put the oil first though because nothing else is going to go through it all right so that is what my routine would be just using the ordinary products and i must say i love them now i will say that this is a, I, you know that I love rosehip seed oils and this is a very nice one. Uh, would I get it again? Probably not because I am so madly in love with the Vintner's Daughter, um, the uh, May Lindstrom Youth Serum. Uh, I love, I, I ordered the Zellens, which is so astronomically priced. And I really love the vitamin D um, serum and I went ahead and got their vitamin A serum. I just wanted to really find a lot of all over the place products that aren't the mainstream on YouTube. I mean, we, we you know, I want I know everybody's talking about the ordinary and I probably would not have ventured into the ordinary line, but so many of you asked me what I thought of it that I decided I would go ahead and do it. And I have to tell you, I'm impressed. It's a very affordable skincare line. And I don't care if you're somebody who likes high end, you would benefit from using some of these products also. Um, just if you like, like for instance, I really, really am, am loving the Vintner's Daughter. It's $185. That's a lot of money. So why not save money on the other serums and get, use these and then buy my oil that I love so much because you are really saving a lot. So don't turn your nose up at these, my friends, because they are very effective products. And this is what my skin looks like when I'm done. All right, so now let's move on to my poo-poos. Well, not my poo-poos, only one product I didn't like in this line. And uh, one I'm, uh, I've been using and um, I'm not seeing the results that I have read other people seeing but i'm not giving up on it because i uh want to acclimate my skin to the retinoid products but uh the one that i'm still going with now i do like this product i don't like the smell of it and this is nine dollars and eighty cents and it is the advanced retinoid two percent it's a stable emulsion of next generation forms of retinoid uh this is a it's it's a nice product I do feel uh, the clarity of my skin is really responding to it. I don't see the immediate plumping that I have read people talking about, uh, but I may be at an age, now I, you have to bear in mind, most of the people that are talking about these are 20 and 30 year olds. For me, I'm much older, so the volume loss in my face is obvious, and I'm not, my body is not making the collagen and my elastin's not holding up. And so for me, I'm not seeing that plumping that everyone's talking about, but I am seeing a refined look to the skin and I don't wake up with any major peeling. Now with the Ordinary brand, they have their retinol. It's in an encapsulated form that is said to cause less irritation than other retinoid products. And I have to say that I'm not experiencing any of the side effects that I normally get with a retinol, although I don't experience it with Sunday Riley's Luna Oil. And I also um, am not experiencing it when I use the Zellens 
vitamin A serum. Now, I will say that I have been using the Ordinary for a couple of months now, and I used it exclusively for two months. I'm just starting to put other some of my other skincare back into the routine. Um, so, uh, we all know, I think that everybody understands what retinoids do. A lot of people think that retinoid is an exfoliation. It does cause cell turnover. Some people are concerned that retinol or retin-A products thin the skin. That is the furthest thing from the truth. They do not thin the skin. They actually, with the production of collagen and the cell turnover, they actually help to thicken the skin. So don't be afraid that you're thinning because you're exfoliating because when that exfoliation happens, new cells are being born. Okay? All right. And also in this formula and retinoid products, they also, this one in particular helps to control the melanin. So somebody who has a lot of darkness, it might, I'm not going to say, I can't speak for that because I don't have any darkness on my face. I don't have any hyperpigmentation on my face. I should probably have paid attention on my chest and used it more on there because that's where I have like one or two spots. But this one also says that it helps with that. Now, the texture of this one is in a milky form. And this one here would be put on, I would do my cleansing at night, my double cleanse. I would use a toner. I would use my essence and then I would apply my retinoid. Now this one here is a milky consistency and um, I don't like the smell of it at all. And it, it is very um, creamy. It has a lot of slip and it just, it smells like popcorn to me. I don't know why. You know how some people say the SkinCeutical smells like hot dogs? This smells like popcorn, but it spreads easily, okay? So if you're looking for a gentle, and this one was $9.80, if you're looking for a gentle retinoid that um, I think with continued use will prove to be effective, uh, I think this is a good option for us, okay? One product I do not like in this line, and I really did not, and it is not, it is vitamin C, but I went with a different one. It is not their L-ascorbic acid. So this product cannot be compared to L-ascorbic acid because L-ascorbic acid is the creme de la creme of vitamin Cs. This one here I do have to read because it is a very, very long one. So, okay, this one here is Ascorbyl Tetrasopalaminate Solution. It's a 20% in a vitamin F. It's a high-strength oil solubilized vitamin C derivative in vitamin F. So it's a derivative of L-ascorbic acid, but it is not L-ascorbic acid. And I am a lover of L-ascorbic acid. Uh, this one here, it is an antioxidant because it is vitamin C. And it is said to be a higher concentration of this form of vi vitamin C because it is in an oil. Um, and it also says you don't get the drawbacks that you get from using vitamin C. So now, if you're someone who has had problems with vitamin C, this may be an option for you, but I will let you know, this one is very oily. I would, let me see something here. Um, it says a few drops to the entire face morning and night. If you overuse this, you will be a grease, grease ball. I did not like this product at all. I would not buy it again. Um, you know, it says this is supposed to be one of the most stable forms of vitamin C. That may be appealing to many of you because, you know, if you aren't, if you're vitamin C, you're not using it uh, quick enough, you know, it will oxidize on you and then it's useless. But uh, I don't find that. The vitamin C that I absolutely love now is the Drunk Elephant and it is the C Firma Day Serum. I absolutely love this. It is in the form of L ascorbic acid at 15%. I believe this one is a 20% percent and that being in the being an oil derivative uh, it is able to be um, 
a little bit stronger and that's what they mean by not having any setbacks because the more vitamin C you use you'll feel the tingling sensation in your skin so I do not like this uh, like I said it is a it's a clear but it's very very greasy very greasy so I did not care for that product the only one that I would not purchase again and like I said I probably will not Per I'm going out of camera and I probably will not purchase the hyaluronic acid right now but would again so that is how I feel about the chemist the ordinary line uh, I've I got all of these from Decium uh, com online uh, it is well worth looking into especially if you are someone who is on a budget looking for skincare that is I would say and I hope I don't offend anybody when I say this if you are going to if you had to choose between drugstore and the ordinary I would go with the ordinary because I think they have really put some science into their products and some really quality ingredients and that is not to offend anybody because I know people are very sensitive when someone puts down a drugstore product or um, you know I, it's not to offend anybody it's just to help educate you a little bit that's all I'm, I'm never here to offend I'm here only to help educate and introduce you to new products that is it my friends all right so that's it let us know in the comments if you are using any of the uh ordinary products uh, i do have some of the niod products that will be coming up for review uh, i do have uh, i've already talked about the hyalamide so uh the niod uh, products will come up eventually and thanks for stopping by i know this video is long i do appreciate all the time you spend with me i know that your time is valuable but there is just no way for me to do a three minute video on this kind of stuff there just isn't there's too much to talk about and i'm talking about a lot of products here if i was only talking about one i might be able to get it under 20 minutes but now i'm babbling so i'm going to say go out uh have a great day thanks for stopping by don't forget subscribe and uh, we're anti-aging here be happy healthy beautiful and most of all my friends lovable I I love you all. Bisous.